Welcome to this video. In this video, we will explain how we could perform inverse finite element modeling by Python scripting in Abacus software. As you can see in this figure, we are modeling tube hydro farming process and we know the final diameter of the tube. We want to predict appropriate internal pressure to create this diameter. We will use an iterative method by Python scripting and running several jobs to find the appropriate pressure. At the first video of this series, we modeled tube hydroforming and we will use the CAE file in this video. This is the Python code for iterative solving the inverse finite element modeling. At the beginning of this file, we can see some modules which are imported and we will use them later. Then we have the target displacement of the tube. This target displacement means that we have 25% increase in the tube diameter. The next line is a tolerance which shows how accurate we want to reach to this target. For iterative solution of this problem we use Newton iterative method. In this method, at first we assume that displacement is a function of pressure and we want to reach to a target displacement by finding the pressure. In the next step, we approximate the displacement by its current value plus its derivation with relation to pressure multiplied by pressure correction. And then we can calculate pressure correction as you can see in this relation. After that, we can write the difference between target and current displacement as residual and rewrite the pressure correction relation based on residual. Now the main challenge for using these relations in our code is that we don't have an explicit function between pressure and displacement. Therefore, we cannot calculate the derivation of the function. We can approximate the derivation of the function if we have two points of the function. As you can see in this relation, we need two points to calculate the slope of the function. The first point can be the point 0 and 0 and for the second point we should perform a job before running this script. After that we calculate the residual which is the difference between our target and our current displacement. The next line open the CAE file which is from our first video of this series and after that we start a while body to calculate the appropriate pressure iteratively. At first we open a text file. Working with text file was also described in one of the videos of this series. And then we calculate the residual. After that we calculate the slope of the function by two points. And also we calculate the correction of the Pressure. We keep the old pressure and also we update the pressure by calculated correction. In the next step, we change the CAE model by putting the new pressure in the load module. If you are interested to keep all of the ODB files, we should change the name of the job at each iteration. So we add a number to the name of the job and update it in each iteration. After submitting the job, in this line. In the next line, we should wait for job to be completed. Before going through the Python code, the job should be completed because we want to read from the output file. In the next step, we open the ODB file as it is described in our previous video. We can find displacement of desired point by reading from the ODB file. This parameter contains the vector of displacement in a desired point, which is the middle of the tube and shows its final diameter. And we want the first component, which is in x direction. We keep the old displacement and use this new displacement also in u new parameter. Then we write iteration number applied pressure and predicted displacement to our file and finally we close the file 
and add a number to the number of iteration. In summary in this wild body, until reaching to the desired displacement by the tolerance, we guess a pressure with two previous points and iterative method and then use this pressure to run the problem another time and calculate the displacement. We saved displacement and pressure in a text file and use them in the next iteration. Now we can go to the Abacus environment and run the script. Now we only run the script and can see the progress of the iterative method. We could see here that after 5 iteration and running 5 job, our iterative procedure has completed and now we can go to our text file. We could see that a text file has been created in the defined directory. We open the text file. We can now see the progress of our iterative method. In the first iteration, the predicted pressure caused a displacement larger than the target and in the next iteration, the pressure is reduced and the displacement is relatively close to our target which was 2.5. And in the fourth and fifth iterations, we exactly reached to the target displacements. I hope you guys has enjoyed this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in the next videos.